This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Thursday morning, uh, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, once again, Morgan Jacobson from the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks uh, joining us. Uh, we talked about this a few weeks ago, uh, mm -hmm. uh, efforts uh, for ultimate management of uh, grizzly bears and that, uh, and there was a call for a public input on that. Uh, that's continuing as I understand it. It is, Chet. So uh, the, the comment period uh, for our new proposed grizzly bear management plan in Montana has been extended mm -hmm. to February 4th. Um, you know, we recognize this is a very significant uh, undertaking. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a large plan um, mm -hmm. and it, it's going to take people some time to be able to, to look through it, become familiar with it. So that comment period has been extended to February 4th to give people more time, uh, you know, with the holidays and everything in between to uh, to be able to, to take a look at that. So um, again, the, all those materials are on our website. The comment uh, forum is, is on our website for people to submit uh, their comments and, and uh, become familiar with the plan. So um, yeah, there's, there's now uh, 30 extra days to be able to do that. Yeah, the, the, the nice thing about this is, is this is a plan in the unknown future. Uh, we've talked about it before. Uh, mm -hmm. Grizzly management is in place and that exists. What this plan is about is should the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service delist the grizzly bear, what happens next? So that hasn't happened yet. So you have the ability to extend that without really impacting too much of it. Yeah, so you know this uh, this plan would, would essentially replace two existing plans mm -hmm. that are in place. You know, one um, one is, is in place for northwestern Montana, the other one for southwest Montana mm -hmm. uh, for managing grizzly bears. And this, this new proposed plan would bring this all, all statewide under one plan. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like you said, it, it, it does uh, provide some, uh, some guidance for if and when uh, the uh, grizzly bears become delisted uh, mm -hmm. from the endangered species list. Um, and so, you know, that, that, uh, you know, that framework has to be in place, but you know, also, um, it, it will help guide management in Montana, um, you know, here and now, uh, because you know a lot of that that on the ground work uh, for grizzly bears is done through Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, we want people to have input on what that looks like, what that what that guiding document uh, should contain, um, and and the, the the provisions that are in there. Uh, and, and I've just skimmed it. I haven't had a chance to go into it too much, but it's pretty comprehensive. There's there's a lot in that. So extending that comment period, uh, like I said, I haven't had a chance to go yeah. into the whole thing yet. Uh, that that that's just going to be good. There's a lot to go over in that plan. There is. There's a lot to digest mm -hmm. um, in in to to help in that process for folks, just so they're they're not you know having to just open up a, an enormous document and mm -hmm. and read through it cover to cover. There mm -hmm. are some supplemental documents. Some frequently asked questions that we that we answer uh, on our website as well. So if you want a high level overview of what's in that document, you can you can find those uh, that that extra information on our website. Uh, but the document in its entirety is uh, is on the website as well for mm -hmm. for anyone who just wants to to really boil down uh, in uh, you know to what it contains. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know everything from from genetic diversity to connectivity and uh, you know managing grizzly bears on some of these you know lower elevations uh, frontier areas um, mm -hmm. all of that is considered uh, in this plan with so much more so uh, we, we encourage folks to take a look at it and provide their comments on it. All right again uh, Morgan Jacobson uh, joining us this morning talking about uh, an extension and an opportunity uh, for more folks uh, to be involved and another chance to, to be involved in uh, the ultimate uh, plan for uh, Montana's grizzly bears. That's right. Morgan thank you very much. You're welcome. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife.